How much is that one of you? Yes. No, any doubts or difficulties you have? That doesn't mean we are discussing the class also, no? Yes. Yes. The lesson is over, no? Yes. Don't point to be announced, sir. Don't point one is over? Yes. So, all of you. So, twelve point one, nothing to discuss now. No. Can you cheat so? No, so I have a test for three minutes. That's where you are trying to cheat so. No, no, I have like all the exam in cheat. Okay, so I was just confirming which chapter you have a test. No, my kids so on. Uh, Tomorrow holiday. Twenty six. No. Okay. What to do? Be happy. No. <laughs> that is why you're wearing mask. So, midpoint theorem, all of you know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. only Yes. Yes. Now, right heading, right equal in half. How are you? All fine now. Oh, Andhra, are you fine? No. Okay. Chalo. Equal intercept theorem. Equal intercept theorem. Return. Equal. You know what? How to write equal? Yes. Don't write this way. Intercept theorem. Equal intercept theorem. Return. Right, what is the simple form I write? If a if, if three parallel lines, if three parallel lines make equal intercepts, if three parallel lines makes equal intercepts on what? Equal intercepts, C E P T S. Intercepts on one transversal. Then, then they make equal intercepts on any other transversal as well. Equal intercepts on any other transversal as well. Equal intercepts as well. And turn on like you. Yeah. Now listen. Most of you may not be knowing what is the meaning of intercept. I once I explained what is that. These are what? Three parallel lines. Okay? Listen, listen. Who? Go listen. Go read something. These are three parallel lines. This A, hello, listen here. A, B, and B, C are the intercepts. This is the intercept formed by these two lines. The B, C is the intercept formed by these two lines. A, C is the intercept formed by these last two lines. Okay. If these two are equal, then if I draw this one, then P, Q will be equal to Q, R. Yes. Hold on, what is it? Yes. 
It's understood. Okay. It's understood. Yeah, because for example, if you take the distance between a tree meter, it is a distance between that also three meter, and then you take a line. For example, that's the same distance, that is also the same distance, it will also be the same distance, but it cannot. Because it's the same dis the distance. That distance change. is this one. Yeah, that distance has a change. This is the distance. This is not the distance. So that means. Exactly. Yeah. So that distance hasn't changed. Hence the scope. Okay. Next. Okay, and that's so the clear. For this one, the proving is in a parallelogram you have to draw, congruence you have to draw. Okay. Right. Even if it is coming in this way. If these two are equal, let's say if D, E, F, yeah, D will be equal to E, F. But provided these two are equal, are we followed? Okay. Suppose if it is given on this way. Now trapezium. If these two are equal, then what will be equal? Uh, BF and BF will be equal to FC. FC. If A is equal to UD, then B, that is called equal intercept theorem. Okay, this one you could have done by our, we are done by midpoint theorem. We joined this one. You remember in the last exercise, yes. we took as a point B. By converse of midpoint theorem, this is point P will be the midpoint of AC. Then again, converse of midpoint theorem, we will be getting on this one. No need directly to do this. Understood or not? Okay. When we are, what are you Are you following? Yes. Sure. Yes. I'm going to draw one figure and you will tell yes or no. Let me see. So we won't tell. Okay. Renvir, what is the equal then? Uh, how many Renvirs are here? Huh. Very good. Sachi. So what is the equal? Janvi. Where's CD? QR is equal to RS will be equal to AC. If D3 are equal, correspondingly D3 are equal. Now, Mania, what are equal? Then these two are equal. Is it all four are equal? No. no. These two are equal. Second. Second. These two are equal means these two are equal. Understood. Then. Okay, what are equal? Snail. How many snails are there? No. Who is the snail now? Forgot your name. <laughs> PQ and ST. PQ and ST are equal as well as. And QR and uh, RS. Okay, understood now. All of you. Sure. Very good. No problem. This property is called which theorem? Equal in the set theorem. So, midpoint theorem where to apply? Midpoint theorem where to apply? Apply midpoint theorem. Equal in the set theorem apply? Apply equal in the set theorem. Simple now. Now, brain will start working. Will work? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Do one thing, you know. This side hit. This side hit. Two times. Not this hit. So, hit. I should get this one so that it starts working. It's a constant stage. Once in a while, keep on it. Okay. Not, not with hammering and all. Okay. Uh, enough. Enough. Okay. Enough. Uh, I mean, I said, you know what I mean by hammering? <laughs> After that, the parents will come. So you will tell you the last week if they are eating. Okay, let me be there. So brain, okay, later it will come. Okay, exercise. Ah. Okay. Yeah, listen. Glory, read the first thing. Well, no. Hmm. 
Sachi, you have explained. Let us do all these things after now. No, 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 Who asked you to consider? You can sit down here, down, you know. Sir, yes, sir. Now, take a read. So, what the Gauri, what all things are equal? CD is equal to, first of all, they are parallel, no? First, write what are parallel? Also, write down all of you. First one. A, what are the three lines parallel? What are the parallels? CG is parallel with BF. is parallel with AE. AE. Okay, this one. Now, what are the equal things? CD is equal to BE. CD is equal to BE. These are the given conditions, okay? Therefore, what you need to find out? The relation between what and what you find out? AB and BC. Therefore, AB is equal to BC. Reason is what? Equal intercept theorem. Don't write EIT, okay? I short form, I wrote equal. Okay, in the exam, don't use a EIT, equal intercept theorem. Okay. Ah, now you write, no problem. Now, what is the value of AB is given? Then going to now. Yes. Then going to centimeter. Therefore, BC is equal to 7.2 centimeter. Who said E is 7.2? Is it a B and AB are equal? These are not equal. Okay. Next one. Done? Yes. Second one. What is it? F is four centimeter. Huh. G is G. So G, so again, next second part is G is equal to G is equal to how much? F. G and F are equal now. No. GF, okay, sorry. GF is equal to FE now. Yes. GF is equal to FE. GF and FE now equal parts. Therefore, equal intercept theorem. Now, what is given over there and what do you have to find out? FE is for therefore GF is equal to 4 centimeter. G is equal to how much? 4 into 2, 8 centimeter. How about if we follow? Yes. Okay, next. You have to find out AE. Have you seen AE? BD is given. BD is how much? 4.1 centimeter. So, so what, how do you do it? Huh? How? It is half of A. Reason? Parallel. Parallel? Right. In triangle AEC, no? In triangle AEC, what is the midpoint? What are the midpoints? B and D. B and D are Midpoints of which are what? AC and A. Sure, now. Therefore, therefore, what is equal to? BD is, BD is equal to half of AE. Midpoint theorem. Now, what value you have? 4.1. What is it? 4.1 is equal to half into. Sir, you are doing obvious things that are now she is talking about you. Read. Read, what did you write? Huh? What is this one? What is given? Oh, okay. And what is this one? Equal intercept here. What is this one? Equal intercept here. Okay. 
Okay, we all begun. Next, the fourth part. What did you find out? D F. D F. So, what is given? So, D G. Who will explain? Yes, tell the story complete. Um, in triangle C G. C G. Uh, in triangle C G. D F are the midpoints of C and G. In the angle C E G. D e and, and F are midpoints mid of C E. Are points of C E and, and A G. A E or A G. E G. Therefore, what is equal to half of what? B F is equal to half of half of the E. The eastern is midpoint here on. And for replace, what value you have? Therefore, DF is equal to half. Say, are you following? Is not certain thing. Did you follow? Yes. Okay. Any doubt? Randivir, you are not explaining anything. Answer what to explain. Next question, read or explain. What do you think? In the figure, we want to know. It is equal to the way. Loudly. In the given figure, given below, two AD is equal to AB. P is midpoint of AB. Q is midpoint of BR. And BR is parallel to BS. Through that. First, AQ is parallel to BS. Second, DS is equal to 3RS. What is the in the trap? What is the midpoint? P is the midpoint of AB. P is the midpoint of AB. Q is the midpoint of BR. BR. This is D now. And this is R. So Q. Joining the AD. Is there a line is coming up? Joining with that one with the R. Then something else also is there. This is also another part of the school. This is also another part of the school. Okay. Now, these two are parallel. Yes, so all three are parallel? No. Okay, so uh, this one, what is this letter? D. What is this one? A. This is? P. P. B. 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 S. S. Not to C. Nothing. C. This is the one. No. Yeah. P is the... Just now only somebody read now. Yes, sir. P is the midpoint of uh, DB no. and Q is the midpoint of PR. I have no idea how P is Q the is the midpoint of PR. And one more condition is given. PR is parallel. Uh, first statement you read. 2AD is equal to AD. 2AD is equal to B. A B. B. That means 2AD is equal to AB. Yes or no? That means AD is equal to AB upon 2. That means all these also equal now. Therefore, AD is equal to AB is equal to BP. All three are equal. Understood? Okay, very good. So explain. You said you know and now you are telling you said. Yes, I will not do it. Okay. So explain, give the answer. That's the answer. Thank you. You're welcome. Next is Q is the midpoint of PR and PR is parallel to PS. Prove that AQ is parallel to PS. How well? Anyone? And DS is not with PR. Look at it. This much all of you follow. Can look at the triangle DPR. Have you seen triangle DPR? Yes. Now look. 
A is the midpoint of G. Okay, and Q is the midpoint of Therefore, A is parallel to P. But first, what do you do? What do you prove first? B is parallel to A. A is parallel to And B R is parallel to B S means A Q. So all three are parallel. That is clear. You said, you said, now, now, K6, K6. So half things you listen, half things you don't listen. The, the, I cannot explain again separately for you now. So when I explain, you should listen now. So this, this is midpoint and this is midpoint. Therefore, what is this one? Triangle AQ is parallel to PR. Midpoint theorem. Therefore, but PR is parallel to BS. Given. Therefore, AQ is parallel to BS. That is the first part. Understood now? Second part. What do you do with? DS is equal to DS. DS, DS, DS. DS is equal to three times RS. That means you have to prove these three are equal. Snail is not listening. She is looking outside and sitting. Oh, then listen. These three, these two are equal now. Therefore, these two will be equal now. Already these are equal. So these all three are equal now. Therefore, DS is equal to 3 RS. Are this, this, this equal now? That means pull is equal to 3 times any one of the parts now? Yes. Not all of them. All of Okay, easy now? Yeah. Oh, Sachi, my dear girl, are you following? You're feeling hungry or what? Don't eat the fingers. Listen now here. Yes. So, follow now. So, first statement you write this on. Then after that, in triangle DPR, A is you completed. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Midpoint of DP. Q is midpoint of DR. DR now. Therefore, AQ parallel to PR. Recent MPT, midpoint zero. But PR parallel to BS. Yes. Therefore, AQ is parallel, therefore, AQ is parallel to yes. First part we proved. Next step. AQ parallel to PR, parallel to BS. Yes or no? Yes. And AP is equal to BP. Yes or no? Yes. Given. Therefore, QR is equal to RS. Yes or no? Yes. Reason. Equal intercept theorem. Danya, followed. Manya, followed. Ari followed Manya. I had to wait, call you, then only it is there to explain. So you, which of this part, this is one of, now check this, this, all three lines are parallel now. And these two are equal, therefore these two parts are equal by equal intercept here. That is why QR is equal to RS. What snap I give you? Okay, sir. <laughs> How you go home? Papa comes. I will tell Papa now. If I want slap, then the things will be ready now. So QR is equal to RS. So next step is right. Hence APD, not AQ, DQ is equal to QR is equal to RS. Therefore, what is it? DS is equal to 3 times RS. Easy now? Yes. Don't you become easy now? Not very complicated. Yes, difficult. Huh? Point is even congruent. So, so practice, you know, it becomes easy. Nothing is easy. Nothing for you, nothing is easy. So make it easy. How? Study. That should work. Brain should work. Brain should work. should work. Not only. Okay. Who is going? Ah, Akanja is not studying anything. I am, I am. She, did you open the book anytime at home? Hmm. No. 
So why, what are you doing at home? Cooking and all you do? Other subjects. So we are having a TV man. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's five days. Mm -hmm. No uh, exams. Yeah, and then the 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 Chi Rama. Okay. Third question, Archit. Yes. Are what is it? Who is that? Huh. In triangle A B C, the median B B and C Q are produced produced up to point M and N respectively such that B B is equal to P M and C Q is equal to Q N. Prove that M A and M A, M -A and N are collinear. Then. And A is the midpoint of. But it is reading for something he for his understanding only. People are sitting and talking. M triangle, first of all, what is given? M triangle? A, B, C. So, what is the median? B, P, and C, Q. You are reading for me, doing the figure, drawing here, not good. Median B, P, and C, Q. Extended. But we know what is the meaning of median? Vertex to the midpoint of opposite side. Who is that? Who is that playing all day? Start. Yeah, Don't you listen now. A form also you do this all now. Mommy tells us you know. <laughs> How can you change your behavior now? <laughs> here, look here. This. Yes, sir. Will it start? Yeah. How to practice? How to practice? I am practicing. My mind not practicing. You think that I am sitting at home and practicing my friend for me? Uh, my, you know, when I do maths, you see a see it back. So what is your age? Ah, now age later. Calculate. Ah, calculate. Not your years. That's the now. So perfect. Okay. Now tell. Okay. Now listen. That was the perfect. No. Do you know something? Yes. How do you know something? I know. Okay. Oh, Archie. So these Archie will only mouth will be open for the time these on top. Let's do the geometry the same way. Okay. B P is equal to P. I think M is this one. B P is it M or N? B P produced to P M. And this is M, huh? and this is N. B, P, and P, M are equal. C, Q, and Q, and Q, N. Q, N are equal. Is it normal? Yes. Okay. Now, we have to prove that what? M, A, N, R. M, A, N, R. Or linear. linear. What happened now? This fan? Are you okay? Oh, not okay. Are you okay? So let's make you okay now. So we are doing this PMA and our collinear. Any idea? Collinear means they are on the same line. If this is a straight line, you have to prove. 
If you can prove some of these three angles is equal to 180 degrees, that's enough. She Sorry, came and ran away. Achai, how do you know it's a line? That you prove it. Huh? Okay. So, no, by seeing, right? By seeing it is collinear, so I prove. You can write that way? No. I wish I could. Huh. Which two are congruent? You can put these two triangles are congruent? Yes. Equal? Yes. Equal? Yes. Particularly opposite angle. So for these two angles are equal. What? What is it? She will tell now whatever is in she said. Now, next, therefore, there is a date for congruent. Therefore, these two are parallel to each other. So, are you going on? That is a they, or this is CPCPC. CP, CP. Similar way, you will get us these two triangles. You can prove congruence. Which two triangles? Triangle CQB and this one. Therefore, you will get this angle. These two angles will come as equal. In triangle ABC, some of the angles will be equal to how much? 180 degrees. That means this B can be replaced by this one. C can be replaced. Therefore, this plus this plus this is 180. Therefore, it's a straight line. Are you followed? Okay, two congruents will prove it as. Now you check even in midpoint you can apply. That is the next important thing. Instead of congruent, suppose if I draw this one. Well, not correct. QP is parallel to BC. QP is parallel to BC. But we have a parallel to Q. Consider triangle BAM. Are we in triangle BAM? Okay, Q is the midpoint of AB and B is the midpoint of FM. Therefore, PQ is parallel to AM and PQ is equal to half of AM. Consider this one triangle CAM. P is the midpoint of AC and Q is the midpoint of AM. Therefore, PQ is parallel to AN and PQ is half of AN. Are you followed? Therefore, you are getting us PQ is parallel to what and what? AM and AM. PQ is parallel to AM and AM means it will be a straight line now. That is a collinear part. We got it now. Okay, second part, what do you have to prove? A is the midpoint of MN. A, A is the midpoint of MN. You can prove these two are equal now. You prove PQ is equal to half of a and also B is equal to half of and A. Half of A and is equal to half of AM. A and A M are equal. Is a very point. No need of congruence and all. Congruence way is lengthy way. Okay, understood now. Midpoint theorem is easy way. Which you wanted to do? Midpoint. Midpoint theorem. The figure is drawn. Yes. Snehal, what is it? She is half of the time looking down and. I will do one thing and today when I go down, I will tell mommy. No, what you to, I will tell mommy to go all come at 7 30. I'll tell mommy to come over here, sit with you. She is feeling lonely. No. I'll tell mommy to come. She will come and sit with you. No. Huh? no. Sure. Then you should be focused over here now. Um, so you can you tell the group? Can you tell the group? Oh, so that is very proper focus you will see now. But when you will write this down. Ah. Write down in your book. Because it's not on a B now. Now write. In triangle. B A M. Written. Okay. Q. Q is the midpoint of BA. And B is the midpoint of BM. These both are given, okay? Because mean 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 midpoint. Therefore, PQ parallel to AM and I just shifted down. I know. AQ is equal to half of AM. Condition 1. Eastern midpoint theorem. The 
then yes. next intraangle A and C. C A R. Well, you write A and C is correct now. Okay. Okay. C C A N. What is it? A P is midpoint of C A. C A. And Q is midpoint of of C N R and C C N. Therefore, P Q parallel to A N and P Q is equal to half A N. Second condition, midpoint theorem. Of all, all of you followed. Yes. From one nine two, right? From one nine two. PQ parallel to AM parallel to AN. Therefore, AM. So they both try to write it. M A N R O L I N I A. Isn't it? Yeah. Look at AM and AN are parallel to each other, na? Okay. Therefore, they are on the same line only, no? Because common point. Again, from one and two. PQ is equal to half AM is equal to half AN. Therefore, AM is equal to AN. Hence, N is sorry, not N. A is the midpoint of MN. Oh, followed. Yes. Easy. Yes. Put the mania. Following or not? Are they in between? Them? In between to tell something and just now. Okay. When M is changed to D, she is not having fun only. <laughs> you come from where? Sandy Road, please. Or your friends are there. Friends are there as well. Yeah, Gauri Sana. Gauri, did you hear the sound? Yes. Come here. I'm not sitting here because it is strong. Then he puts his hands in front. अनुमान Tanya, you are disturbing her husband and you are disturbing her husband. I am getting disturbed. So, who is disturbing? She is disturbing you. Huh? Nobody is disturbing. All class. So, she is playing all class. That's the opposite. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh, oh me. Oh, oh, innocent. I am very innocent. Oh, yeah. You write over there. Word innocent and put it down there. Oh, okay. You have to write. Okay, so next one question. In triangle ABC, angle B is obtuse. D and E are midpoints of sides AB and BC respectively, and F is point on side AC such that EF is parallel to AB. Show that BEFD is a parallelogram. Please draw the figure. It's all going on. I have to complete any questions in a day. Then only it will go. I think this exercise I have to complete now. Now it is uh, uh, already 10 then. Sorry, 8.16. Now, there's some questions I will explain only. Are they please, you people do at home also. Angle B is okay till you draw. Yeah. What is the midpoint of what? 
D is the midpoint of AB. Then the And you have to prove that it is a parallel. What is parallel to what is given? BC. E is the midpoint of BC. It is BC. E yes. is parallel to AB. If the point on AC is said that A was parallel. E, effort is there? Yeah. Oh, oh, e, this is E now. Yeah. And this is? On AC to the point. And this is point on side AC. Such that what is parallel to what? E, F is parallel to A. If you can prove this and this parallel, that's enough now. This is already parallel now. Pa one pair parallel. Parallelogram means both the pair of the set are parallel. 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 Simple. You will get us E is the midpoint of and EF is parallel to AB. Therefore, you need this triangle now. Therefore, what do you get? F is the midpoint of AC by which theorem converse of midpoint A. Done. Now D is the midpoint of AB. F is the midpoint of AC. is parallel to Therefore, the F is parallel to B. So, opposite sides are parallel. It's a parallelogram. Hence, proved. Yes or no? Yes. All of you followed. Yes. Those who are not followed, raise your hand. Those who are followed, raise your hand. So, you can write to yourself now. This man, what? He doesn't know. Those not followed also, are And you are in this class only. Write to yourself. Last formal proof we are not writing now. I will take the message your parents. See, that uh, whether they are doing the homework from home. Okay. E is the midpoint of BC. EF is parallel to BA. Therefore, F is the midpoint of AC. Reason. And what's the midpoint there? Again, D is the midpoint of AB. F is the midpoint of AC. Therefore, DF is parallel to BC. Therefore, DF is parallel to BE and BD parallel to EF. Therefore, it's a parallelogram. Okay, you will write to yourself. Question number six. Okay. Akansha, read the question six. Fifth. Okay, fifth. In parallelogram ABCD, EF and F are midpoints of the side AB and CD respectively. Mm -hmm. The line segment EF and BF meet the line segment ED and E zone at point G and F respectively. Prove that mm -hmm. triangles HEP and FHP are congruent. Mm -hmm. GEHF is a parallelogram. Mm -hmm. So, in parallelogram ABCD, once again, then what are things are given? E is the E and F are the midpoints of A, B, and C. A, B, E, and F. Okay, then. Little line segment A, F, and B, F. Line segment A, F, and B, F. A, F, and B, F. Okay. Meets line segment E, D, and E, C. E, D. E, D. E, D, and E, C. Uh. At point G and H. E, D, G, and H. Okay. Then. That triangles H, E, B, and F. H, H, E, B, e, B and F, H, C. F, H, C. Are common. Okay. Then. Over. One more part. G, P, H, F is a parallelogram. Okay. This is a parallel. So proving parallelogram opposite sides equal, opposite side parallel and okay. First condition equal. 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 You have to prove this H E B. Have you seen H E B? 
Are we seeing FHC? Yeah. Yes. FHC. It's actually it is not in the proper order. Okay. It should be. It should be. We are particularly open now. Okay. Mm -hmm. That we will write. So can you prove anything congruent? About these two? Particularly no. opposite. How about these two? No. Alternate and radical. Now one side, if you prove that's enough now. Yeah. Tell her, correct. A, B, and C, D are equal. Therefore, half A, B is equal to half C, D. Half A, D, B, B, and F, C. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent by two angles on the side. A, A, S. Now, which are the two triangles? H, E, B congruent to? Wrong. H, E corresponds to C. H, C, F. Okay, so, that's uh, that's um, the, the huh? yeah. so A B and C D are equal by half sorry, A B and C D are equal, it's half also equal. So, which is equal? Uh, sorry, C D is which equal to half. Uh, that is why A B and C D are equal now. From there only we started. Uh, from there only we started. Is the yeah. That's the same thing only we applied now. Nothing new. Yeah. Right. Yeah. First of all, right. AB is equal to CD. AB is equal to CD. You know, reason opposite sides of parallelogram. Half AB is equal to half CD. Therefore, BE is equal to CF. B is equal to C of first part. Okay. Now write. Can you write in yes. triangle? H E B and H C L. B E is equal to C F angle. H B E is equal to angle H F C. Alternate in the angle. Then angle this one H, which is not B or uh, B H E is equal to F H C, particularly opposite angles. Therefore, triangle H E B is congruent to triangle. FHC. A, A, S. Confidence test. Hope all of you followed. If anyone not followed, please tell me. Okay. Now the second part, all of you tell me. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. Triangle EHB and FHC. We similarly prove that triangle uh, EAG and DEGF are uh, congruent. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Basically, yes. that's how we think that angle is Yeah, these are the things we used to do. Yes, it is not perfect. Okay, so look. And then we have yes. proof that it is congruent. You got yes. the parallelogram? Yes. Oh. No. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Therefore, C, P, C, P, C, what do you get? H, huh? This one. H is equal to H, H, but with that one, you will not get the confidence now. Nah? So, no opposite sides are equally at the end now. What? 
Then now, okay, starting from starting, I do not hear what you said. I'm asking. Oh. So, uh, we can similarly put that triangle EAG is congruent to EGF. Hmm. And then similarly, we put that EAG uh, is congruent to EAG. EAG is congruent to? EAG is she has gone through the then you'll prove now. Yeah, if you prove that, then we prove that both are parallel. What is parallel to what? AD is parallel to it's over. And over. Everything is over. And then it'll be half out. And then we already know that AB is parallel. Now, shall I tell you? All parallel. Everything is done. We need to prove this is a parallelogram from here with CPCTT, you will not get because you will be getting at the corresponding D, you will be getting at this is equal to this or this is equal to this. Okay, and these angles are equal, but the parallel conditions will not get either parallel or equal. You have to get if you consider AECF, how is an AECF? Yes. AE and CF are equal. And A is parallel to CF. Yes. Therefore, A C F is a parallelogram. If A C F is a parallelogram, you will get these two are parallel. Yes. So now. Yes. Then now you consider B E F B E D F. Yeah. Then this also you can prove is a parallelogram. Yes. So now these and these are equal and parallel. Therefore, these two are parallel. Opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are parallel, and such is a parallel. Followed, not followed. Followed or not followed? What's the hell? Oi, hello, followed. Yes, yes, right now. Right. It's not followed. After write down, then you will follow. Write down. In quadrilateral AE CF. AECF AE is equal to FC. Lisa is half AB is equal to half CB. Okay. Next AE parallel to FC. Lisa is AB parallel to CD. This page all of you followed? Yes. Therefore, AECF is a Parallelogram. This one is parallel followed all of you? Yes. Okay. Therefore, what is parallel to what? AF parallel to EC. Okay. Similarly, PEDF is a parallelogram. Therefore, PF parallel to PD. Okay, now this match is clear, all of you? Yes. Danya, you have followed this match? Okay, next, what do you prove the parallelogram? E? E, D, D, yes. Okay, so in quadrilateral E, G, F, E, G. What is the group parallelogram? G E H L. G E H L. No, but then that was G O G E H L. H L. Same thing only G E H L is what? Okay. Okay. G E is parallel to G E is parallel to F H. Reason because it is what G E F and parallel to D E. And the second one, EH parallel to GF. Reason is above here, it would now AF parallel to EC. Therefore, answer GH is a parallel. Hope you have followed. Nanya, your proof, you write and show me. Okay. Hmm? Clear all of you? Yes. Those who have not followed, tell me, raise your hand. 
Okay, question. That is a question number which one? Fifth, Fifth one. Snail, follow. Read the sixth one, Snail. I mean, wrong one. Huh? Mm -hmm. Fifth one. The next class. In front of the DBC, D and E are, are midpoint inside AD. So that AD is equal to DE is equal to ED. D mm -hmm. are mid not midpoint now, points now. Is equal to FG, which is equal to BC. Check, 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 check. So you got AF is equal to FG is equal to GC. The same property applying you will get BM is equal to 